our next topic we will cover the properties of this resistance how the different uh, variations in the parameters in various parameters uh, can change the resistance of a resistor so let's understand this concept so let's take an example of a wire here I am drawing a wire a simple wire conductor having the area of cross section A and its length is L this length of this wire is L and rho is it is the rho which is this is the resistivity of the material this is the specific resistance or the resistivity of the material it depends on the property of the material which is unique for different materials as we know that uh, a resistor causes resistance or obstruction in the free flow of charged particles that is the electrons this is because of the collisions of free electrons with the ions of the conductors as we have uh, seen it already so as the area of cross section that is the A of the wire increases it becomes easier for the charge carriers or the electrons to move through it so it results in low resistance to the flow of charge carriers clear so we can say that uh, resistance R is inversely proportional to the area of cross-section here you can write it here as L is the length and A is the area of cross-section is the area of cross-section so R is inversely proportional to the A I have explain the reason behind this also uh, it's easy to understand that uh, as the length of the wire increases the electrons have to encounter more resistance due to lots of collisions with the ions of the material of the wire so we can understand that R is directly proportional to the length of that conductor as uh, let me revise this point as the length of the conductor increases the number of collisions are increased at the free as the free moving electron has to uh, has to encounter more number of collisions along its length so the resistance increases proportionally directly proportionally and resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section because as the area of cross section uh, increases the the free electrons get more space to move so it reduces the effect of resistance so by combining these two equations we can say that resistance is proportional to L by A we can write it as R is equals to Rho into L by A this is very important relation here Rho is the constant of proportionality and is the resistivity of the material the resistivity of the material is the constant of proportionality here so R is equals to Rho into L by A a very important relation Rho is the resistivity of the material of the resistor Rho is different uh, for different materials it depends on the properties of the material used for conduction of electricity as the resistance or the hindrance offered by the 
unique lattice structure and the ions of the material is different for different materials it is different for uh, various different materials as it depends on the properties of the material so we can say in uh, if I summarize this that resistance is equals to rho into L by A directly proportional to the length as the length of the conductor increases the resistance increases but it reduces as the area of cross section of that conductor increases it also depends on the resistivity of the material which is unique for different materials one important thing that you will also see here is that 1 upon rho 1 upon rho is called the conductivity conductivity of the material of that conductor it is denoted by this sigma this sign which is equals to this is the notation for conductivity and similarly this is the conductance denoted by G is equals to 1 by R R is resistance this is the resistivity conductivity and the conductance so this G is the conductance conductance the inverse of resistance so you can also say that rho is inverse to rho is equals to 1 by sigma and r is equals to 1 by g these are having the inverse relationship i hope you might have got the point of resistance friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye